Welcome. In this video, we'll walk you through how to set up sales analytics. Let's dive in. During our time together, we'll show you the power of sales analytics, how to set up user access, and how to use the configuration wizard. You'll become familiar with pre-built dashboards and data manager. Whether you're a sales executive or manager, a rep, or on the operations side, sales analytics makes it easy to get actionable insights fast from your sales data using the intuitive CRM analytics interface. And you can drill deeper into key aspects of your business by customizing sales analytics around your business needs. Before we walk through the steps to set up sales analytics, note that when sales analytics is enabled, an integration user and security user are generated along with associated licenses and profiles. These users are vital to the functionality of analytics. The permissions of the integration user are used to extract data from Salesforce objects and fields when a data flow job runs, and the security user impacts sharing and security functionality to control row visibility in datasets. Now, let's dive in to set up sales analytics. To give administrators or users in your org access to the sales analytics, First enable CRM analytics, and then assign ready-made permission sets to them. In Salesforce Setup, enter Analytics in the Quick Find, Search field, then click Getting Started. Click Enable Analytics. Now, assign permission sets. In Salesforce Setup, enter Users in the Quick Find field. Click Permission Sets. Scroll through the list of permission sets until you see Sales Analytics Admin and Sales Analytics User. For users who require administrator-level access to Sales Analytics, assign the Sales Analytics Admin Permission Set. Warning: Assign the Sales Analytics Admin Permission Set sparingly because it lets users administer Sales Analytics, which lets them create, edit, and delete the app. Assign it only to users who will administer or manage the app. Users with Sales Analytics user and editor or manager access to the app can create, edit, and delete app assets. Click Sales Analytics Admin. Click Manage Assignments, then Add Assignments. Check the boxes next to the names of the users who require administrator-level access to the app. Click Assign, then click Done. The selected users can now create and manage Sales Analytics. To assign user-level access to Sales Analytics, assign the Sales Analytics user permission set. Click Sales Analytics User. Click Manage Assignments, then Add Assignments. Check the boxes next to the names of the users who require access to the app. Click Assign, then click Done. The selected users can now use Sales Analytics. Now that we have the correct permissions assigned, we can go ahead and follow the steps to create and share Sales Analytics. From the App Launcher, find and open CRM Analytics Studio. Click Create, select App, Select Sales Analytics and then click Continue to open the Configuration Wizard. If you've created an app before, choose between creating a brand new app or creating an app based on settings from a previously created app. Click Continue. Sales Analytics runs a compatibility check against your org to be sure it includes the data to successfully create the app's datasets and dashboards. If it doesn't, Follow the instructions in the error message to add the required data and start the app creation process again. Once the org compatibility check succeeds, click Looks Good. Next, choose between using pre-selected standard settings or custom settings to set up your app. Select Basic to set up your app quickly based on standard settings determined by the org compatibility check. The standard settings include collaborative forecasting if you use the Sales Cloud Collaborative Forecast feature. Select Custom to open the Configuration Wizard, which you use to make your own custom settings to reflect the way you and others on your team want to view data. We will choose Basic, and we're almost done. Click Looks Good, Next. The app creation process can take a few minutes. Check the status of the data flow. Open the CRM Analytics homepage. Click the gear menu at the upper right of the page and select Data Manager. From the pull-down menu, Select Data Flow View and look for your app. Sales Analytics includes pre-built dashboards, lenses, and datasets to accelerate your data exploration. Note that the dashboards and datasets included in Sales Analytics 
differ depending on how you answer configuration wizard questions when you create the app. Pre-built dashboards are designed to meet the needs of everyone on the team, sales executives, managers, and representatives, as well as the operations staff, all have instant access to the KPIs they need to manage the sales business. Sales Analytics gives you a choice for how to include your team's quotas depending on whether you use the Sales Cloud Collaborative Forecasts feature to store quotas data. With option one, Sales Analytics automatically adds quotas data to your app and its dashboards. With options two and three, add quotas data to your app by following these instructions. Create a CSV file with quotas data, upload to CRM Analytics, and rerun Dataflow. More detailed instructions are available in Help. When you create Sales Analytics, the creation process includes a data flow that imports the latest Sales Cloud data to CRM Analytics. You can schedule the app to refresh daily to assure that your app uses up-to-date Salesforce data. Schedule the refresh to take place sometime outside normal business hours so the processes don't interrupt your use of the app. From Setup, in the Quick Find box, enter App Install History, and then select App Install History. Find your app in the list of installed apps. Click the drop-down arrow to the far right of the Sales Analytics app. From the menu that appears, select Schedule. Pick the days you want, and set a time for refreshing the app data. It's best to select a time outside normal working hours for the data refresh. Choose 1 a.m., then click Save. Now that we have our app created, it's time to share it with users in your organization. You can only share it with users who have the Use CRM Analytics templated apps and access Sales Cloud Analytics templates and apps permissions enabled. Open your app if it's not already open. If you've navigated away from CRM Analytics Studio, go back to it, select all items, find your app, and click it. Next, click the Share icon to the upper right. In the next screen, Use the search field under Invite Others to find other users in your org. Select whether you want to make the selected user a viewer, editor, or manager of the app. Click Add and then click Save. Select the gear icon to access Data Manager, where you can monitor your data jobs, prepare and manage data flows, and maintain schedules. And there you have it. You have everything you need in one place to uncover key data insights to help you grow your business. Before we conclude, it's essential to be aware of a few sales analytics limitations when creating and sharing the sales analytics app. Sales analytics supports standard and custom fields on standard Salesforce objects. The fields provided are determined by the answers you provide when you create the app using the built-in configuration wizard. Sales Analytics limits custom object support to no more than 10 custom objects for each org that implements Sales Analytics. Sales Cloud data must meet the following requirements. Use standard sales objects. Have at least one event and one task connected with an opportunity. Enable history tracking for amount, stage, and close date fields on the opportunities object. Cases must be connected to accounts if you choose to import cases data to Sales Analytics using the Configuration Wizard. Thank you for joining us on this journey to set up Salesforce Sales Analytics. With the right templates, dashboards, datasets, and setup, you can transform your sales operations and make data-driven decisions. For more detailed information and comprehensive documentation, please visit us at help.salesforce.com or join the vibrant Salesforce Trailblazer community at trailblazer.salesforce.com. Thanks for watching.